Hey yo, what's going on all my gamers, all my Genshin and Honkai Star Rail gamers. We're doing a double header today because I didn't talk about this yesterday and they just revealed another character today. So Genshin had this new character, Amelia, and Honkai Star Rail got their own new character that was just announced. Now I wanted to talk about this because um, I seen a lot of people talking about it on Twitter yesterday. If you want to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash the blue demon Rin. Yes, the is part of it. I can't get uh, blue demon Rin on its own. Uh, that person hasn't logged in in like five years. Anyways, so here is Amelia. I know a lot of people, I, I heard a lot of people not like her design. And if, if I'm going to give my honest opinion, it, it, it almost feels like there's either something missing or there's too much of something. It's in a weird spot for me. But am I going to say that she's terrible? No, of course not. I think this is a great design. You know, we're hag maxing out here, chat. You know what I'm saying? We love older women and witches because uh, of course we do. Uh, and um, I feel like Genshin is uh, really, really coming out and knocking it out of the park with the mommy characters, which is probably why... I like it so much chat you know me I am a mommy enjoyer uh, a mother enthusiast if you will I think it's just a blonde in her hair chat if I'm gonna be so real maybe that's just it maybe if she had black hair possibly I don't know something about her color palette something seems off and I think it is the blonde so it says here how incredible I can perceive emotions through water which humans cannot Yet they are capable of using it to regulate their mood, and they and they accomplish this with a fragrance in liquid form. I see. I believe I have a better understanding of this concept now, Nouvellet. So, if I had to guess, I had assumed she'd be a. Hmm. Would she be a healer? I don't know. She's definitely gonna be uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, a tome user. I'm pretty sure. Hey, she, she she's a witch. She's gotta be right. But man, I. The rule 34 is going to be great. Let's just say that, chat. <laughs> I I could see it going one of two ways, in which it, it will be nice and it won't. So, damn. I really do feel like there's something missing for her. I don't know. Someone's got to edit her hair to be black, and then maybe we can go from there. Because it, it's got to be something, chat. Anyways, let's see what else. Her name is... Emily, not Amelia. Em Emily, I've been calling. Chat, have we been calling her Amelia this whole time? Emily. Title: A Thousand Cents Traced. Renowned perfumer, Dendro, Pomun de Ambra. I don't know what the constellation is, anyways. I don't, I don't know why I read that. <laughs> Literally means nothing to me. <laughs> but she's gonna be another Dendro user, uh, probably a healer, I assume. Healing through like the scent. Either, uh, no, not even maybe, not even a healer. Maybe she'll just be like a buffer or something. Through the power of Parfum. If you guys have watched Fa Fairy Tale, you know who I'm talking about. Now, here is an other character that was released, and this is for the Honkai Star Rail gamers. This is from the other side of that. This is Yun Lin and Chat. I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest. Uh this game. Uh how do I say this? This game appeals to people who like feet. And I wasn't before, but maybe I'm starting to see the, <laughs> I wasn't before, but I think I'm starting to see the appeal now with these characters. Cause, uh, bro, why are they always got their dogs out, bro? They got their toes in their sand. Also, she kind of looks like crony. Is that me? Is it because I love crony? Did I see crony in her? It's probably the hair. I think it was the hair chat. I'm going to be so real, but I think she's, uh, someone from the low foo. Let's see. It... <laughs> Oh, extraterrestrial. I was like, what the hell is that word? Extraterrestrial extraterrestrial satellite communication, Yun Lin. I almost said Yang, I almost said Yin Lin. And I was like, wait, that's a wrong that's a wrong game. That's that's the Wu Wah. That's the that's the Wu Wah brain rot chat. Have you guys been playing Wu Wah? I've been playing Wu Wah. Swords have a temp uh, temper. Sometimes you have to touch them to calm them down. Put the hilt of the sword in your hand and it'll tell you what's wrong. Hmm. A sword hunter from the, uh, the, the Shenzhou Zhong... <laughs> I'm so bad at Chinese. Or I guess Mandarin. From the Shenzhou Chuming 
and the Flaming Heart General Huayan's darling granddaughter. Oh, Frank and straightforward. She practiced swordsmanship and forging, forging from Huayan since young, and thus is the second youngest prodigy swordmaster of the Flame Wheel Octet. Fueled by an intense loathing for cursed swords that emerging from the Zhuming. She vowed to hunt down and wipe these cursed swords. She is voiced by Brenna Larson. I don't know who that is. I'm all about it. She's, she looks so cool, though, chat. Look at this. She has all these swords around her. But here's the question. Uh, so here's the thing, chat. Uh, Tuanto put it out here. I, I guess I, I, don't, I didn't see it right here. But she is a physical destruction character. So she's going to be a DPS, chat. So keep your eyes peeled for that. But, man, look at her, bro. I really... Now, don't get me wrong. I do like Emily. I do like her a bit. You know, I'm not gonna be, I, I'm not gonna be out here telling you guys that I don't like Emily and that she's absolute dog. But I'm not gonna hold you, chat. Yun Lin just has something about her. She kind of looks like Nilu, actually. I saw, t <laughs> I saw Tecto make that edit of putting Nilu's head on her, and I can kind of see it now. But I really do like Yun Lin, bro. She is cute. She kind of. She kind of baddie, chat. Let's see what people are saying. Sorry, my little brother took away my Twitter account. Physical destruction, but why fire? Hmm. Tawanto. Tawanto, you better go home because Jean's uh Jean's gonna be pissed. Speaking of swords, uh, Chris Swords is that another One Piece reference? She looks badass, dude. That's Legion. Shout out to Legions. Yeah, she definitely does look badass. <laughs> I love Gotcha Gamer. What does this say? It's just so damn peaked that I've ascended to heaven. It's peak chat. Chat, we've peaked. Oh, you're starting to see people with uh, Zone Zone Zero POP. Oh, here's Doro. Super pretty design. Here. Same GP. 10 out of 10 feet. Is this Ruby? Oh, this is Ruby. Hold on. I'm going to follow Ruby. Chat, Ruby likes feet. You heard it here first. That one's not even misinformation. You see it right there. She likes feet. I also seen something about Sips. Uh, Y'all seeing the swords and the hility in the air that's happening at 2.4. This is kind of sick, dude. This is, uh, she's supposed, I guess she's coming out in 2.4. That's what everyone's been saying. I'm all about it, chat. This is, uh, definitely, I, I'm going to get her. Or, or at least if I, I'm going to try to get her. I should, I have guarantee right now because I didn't get Robin. I have everything farmed for Robin and I didn't get her. I'm pissed, chat. Chat room, I'm upset. But you know what? We look to the future. I'm going to get Firefly. I'm going to use that guarantee to get her because she's absolutely broken. And you got to have your uh, waifu character, uh, your your canonical wife in the game. Anyways, that's not true. I made that up. But what I'm not making up is Yun Lin coming, looking hot. Got her toes out. Chat, do you like her painted toes? I, I need to not say some things that come to mind, chat. But you know what? Let's not worry about that right now. What we need, we need to worry about is you guys telling me in the comment section down below whether you like her, whether you're going to get her. Comment, like, and subscribe, and now we'll catch you gamers in the next one. Bye.